It was in Silicon Valley in California where Kukier first discovered big data. The American journalist is the guru of the phenomenon. He has held multiple workshops and conferences on the subject over the past five years. His equation is simple. If data is analyzed with precision, it can be hugely valuable. It can be used to anticipate problems and even help people get what they want. More aspects of living can be rendered into an informational or into a data format, like our location, like the calories we consume, like uh, the websites that we visit. And by looking at more and more of this data, there are things we can do with a large body of data that we simply cannot do when we're only working with smaller amounts. Every day we create masses of data simply by using our mobile phones and computers. This universe of stored information is big data. It's a phenomenon already being exploited by marketing, but can the world of education also capitalize on it? In his book, Learning with Big Data, Kukier argues that it can. So. What's happened in America on these online courses called MOOCs, massively open online courses, is that professors are able to look at when students are watching their courses and when they stop and when they repeat. And one professor at Stanford noticed that around class seven, class eight, all the students went back to class three. Well, class three was a math refresher class, and it showed that as students got more and more deeply into the course, they were less and less confident about their math skills. Now, traditionally, a, a teacher would never have the ability to know this, that the class is, 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 not, is actually falling behind. But suddenly, the professor was able to see this in the data, and he was able to learn, OK, two things. First, I need to give more prep to the students, more preparation, but also maybe I need to do a better job of instructing that particular topic because students are stopping there. Kukie says we're on the cusp of a big data revolution in which education can be customized to individual needs. The fact is we need to save our kids from the educational system that was built for a different era, for an industrialized, mechanistic, one-size-fits-all assembly line era, and we can now tailor it, just as we have apps and, and Amazon recommendations and Google searches tailored to our interests, we need education that's tailored to our needs and the best way that we learn. Kukie knows teachers are still wary of big data, with some seeing it as a kind of big brother, but he believes it's the only way to adapt teaching methods to each student's individual needs and abilities.